guys, what's going on? Um, quite an important video to do here. Um, it's how to update your PSP. I'm not sure about the PS Vita, but um, you can still try it um, and hopefully it'll work. And then you will have the latest, I think it's the latest, operating system on your PSP. So let's get straight into it. In the description, there'll be a link for um, this Mediafire download which I've uploaded so you can download it um, but anyway just click the link download this and then once you've got it you gotta get this .raw file just right click it extract here and then you gotta get these two files um, and now what you want to do is just get your PSP and then I'll show you the rest see you in a minute Okay, so now you've just downloaded these two files and extracted them. Um, what you want to do is take your PSP, turn it on, and then go to like the USB connection there. Get your mini B to USB cable and just plug it in at the top of the PSP. And then click the USB connection then you'll be on the screen. Now take the normal USB connector put it inside of your computer and now it's in USB mode so let's go back onto the computer and show you the rest. Okay so now you've got these two files and you've plugged in your PSP just click that once, right click, copy now go to your computer Double click memory stick, it might be called PSP, but anyway, that's the PSP. Um, click the PSP folder, and then game, right click, and paste the file that we've just copied called eboot.pbp. Um, and then once you've um, pasted it in, you need to create a new folder, which I'll show you what to do now. So now that it's fully pasted in there, just right click, new, folder, and then in capital letters, call it update. And then just drag the eboot.pbp file into the new folder we've just created. And it should be in there. So let's just go back, in fact, click off that to make sure that we've put it in properly. Yep, it's in there now, so we can um, unplug the PSP now, and then I'll show you what you have to do. Okay, so now you've just pasted the eboot.pbp folder, or file, onto the PSP system in the right place. It should be on the game, um, and then create a new folder called update, and then paste the eboot.pbp file in there. And then just go down to memory stick, make sure you're on the game bit. Go down to memory stick, select it, and then you'll get this. Just click X and then go through the setup. And then you've got the new um, operating system, 6.10 or system update, whatever they're called. I think this is the highest one you can get for PSP and hopefully PS Vita. Um, if this has helped you, please give it a rate, thumbs up, you know, comment, and even subscribe if it really helped. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.